How's it going everyone? We hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to the Foodie TV. I'm Davian. And I'm Richard. Today we ventured into Freya, California to visit this butcher shop called La Carniceria Wagyu. And what they're known for is their high-end, top-quality Kobe and Wagyu meats. But we're not here for that. Today, we are here for something else. Richard. Davian. What are we here for? Today, we are going to be trying Wagyu sandwiches that's been making waves on social media and we can't wait to try them. I hope you're ready because it's all coming right up in this episode. Alright guys, we finally got our food. There was a little bit of a wait, but don't mind it because when you're in there, the smell of every single sandwich coming out of the oven was incredible. We were salivating the whole time and they don't have any tables in there, so we're going to eat at our car because we cannot wait any longer. So, they have several different sandwiches. We decided to get three because that was the recommendation. We got the top three and we got a prime steak sandwich, we got the smoked Wagyu pastrami sandwich, and we got a Wagucci trio, which has black forest ham, it has roast beef, and it has pastrami. So, can't wow. wait. That's a lot of interesting stuff in the sandwich, and I'm salivating just holding this bag in front of me. I can't wait to go and dive into these sandwiches. All right, man. let's get the first one, Richard. Let's go. All right. Man, I'm so hungry right now. Let's oh. go with the smoked pastrami. Here we go, guys. All right, Crack all right. this open. Let me have a seat, you know, just in case. I dropped this. Uh, it's going to be very traumatizing to my life. And uh, let me unwrap that in front of you guys. That. So this is like a uh, rye bread that they got here. And uh, let's just split this right now. Split this right now. Let's see what's inside. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Show them, show them the cross cut, Oh idiot. my gosh. Look at that. Heck that the pastrami is juicy, fatty. What do you see in there? We see pastrami, sauerkraut, provolone cheese on rye bread. So this is like basically a Reuben, but with smoked Wagyu pastrami. And then on the sides too, the cheese actually crusted, so it become crunchy oh. and grilled. Oh yeah, you they put see it into right a there. 900 degrees oven to sear all of this to make sure everything melts and gets rendered down. So it's gonna be texture city. Flavor town. So let's go ahead. Richard, I can't, we're not waiting any longer. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. Look at that. Juice just dripping down. That is money, you guys. Oh my God, the pastrami. Tender. Super tender, super juicy. Flavorful. Super flavorful, not overly salted. Sometimes when I eat pastrami, it's kind of too overbearing or overwhelming, but this one was perfect, you guys. This was, it was amazing. Wow. Wow, the sauerkraut wasn't too sour either. No, and the cheese Great. complements it well. And that Super crunch, good. that crunch on the bread, money. All right, let's Super go for crunchy. another bite. Let's, let's go. go. Cheers. Oh my God. That, way, way too good. Like we gotta stop our sauce because we have Two more sandwiches to try for you guys. So let's put this away and pull out the next one. Yep. But pastrami, that was a great way oh, to start. That is so good. Perfect way to start. Okay, the next one is the prime steak sandwich. Comes in a submarine form. The other one was more of a sandwich. Pull this out. The hoagie torpedo. Oh, when they were making this in the back, you can see the steak being sliced and they, they cooked it a perfect rare at first and then they finished it off in the 900 degree oven. Check that out, you guys. I'm gonna open that so you guys can get a peek in there. Ooh. But uh, look at that steam coming out. It comes piping oh, hot. God. They got that Dutch crunch bread, super crunchy. And it's loaded with meat. Loaded. They do not skimp at all. It is loaded, you guys. All right, let's crack this in half. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, look at that cheese pull. Ooh. All right, David, here's your half. Okay, you got some tomatoes. You got some arugula. 
You got that steak. Man, oh man. And a house dressing. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Cheers. Mmm. That mm. is so tender. It was almost like biting to meat butter. Holy cow. So it, flavorful. They, it is so flavorful. You can tell that this has been marinated for quite oh, some time man. and that they didn't just season it that day of. No. Because that bite was flavor in and out through one side to the other side. Delicious. Oh man. You, you get a little bit of citrus in there. Wow. You get a little bit of... Oh, get I don't the caramelized know onion. It's like, it's like a carne asada. Yeah. Kind of a... Um, but with their twist marinade. on it. It's like yeah. a proprietary thing that they do here, which is a hit. They got cool. some of that uh, caramelized onion, and I, th I think that's where the sweetness came from. Yeah. There you go. So freaking good. And the heirloom tomatoes, perfect choice for a tomato option in here. Yeah, I mean, if you're putting Wagyu, you gotta have some uh, outstanding yep. tomato and heirloom tomato right. is the one. Take another bite. Let's go. <laughs> it was even better the second time. I don't know why. That was freaking delicious. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. We gotta stop ourselves because we got one more, David. Yeah. We got one more. You can't take that third bite. <laughs> you can't. We gotta stop. I, I was so tempted. I almost I'm did. Tell you guys, we are holding back right now from not trying to eat this. It's that good. That good. But we got one, one more. more. Let's go. Let's wrap this up. All right. <clears throat> the third, the final, last but not least, we got the Waguchi Trio. Trio. It has Wagyu pastrami. It has prime roast beef, it has black forest ham, provolone, lettuce, tomatoes, pickled onions, and some pepperoncini mayo. Oh, I've never heard of that one before. Oh my god, check that out, you guys. There's pickled onions in there, arugula. Look at that, the tree Look at how meat. much meat is in there. And I think that's mozzarella balls that they put in there. Every sandwich has been different and nothing repeats or they don't use the same ingredients, so then you get a diversity of taste. Richard. Man, no more talking, let's man. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> can't, can't hold back. Ready? Yep, cheers. cheers. Go. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh wow. You can taste every single layer of meat in there and it just hits your palate and you're just super shocked because of the overwhelming goodness that it's delivering to your taste buds. This is an incredible Whoa. sandwich. Everything is well balanced. The texture from the roast beef My adds goodness. like a nice protein texture, a different texture to the other two proteins. And you would think that because they're using Wagyu that it's gonna be too fatty. But I think that trick that they use here is that 900 degrees oven, it rendered all of that fat down so it's not chewy or hard to bite. But when you bite into it, it's kind of like melted marrow, yeah. bone marrow, butter, and it's so beefy. And that was the best part of this whole right. thing. And then you get that pepperoncini mayo. Oh, it has a nice brightness to it. Oh yeah, and they kind of use like mustard seeds in there to add a little bit more flavor in there, a little bit more pungent in there. But it goes together so well. And you know, you know what I like about this mainly. I like how surprisingly light it feels. Yeah. And it tastes. And so you can finish so this all in one. If you think it's heavy because of so much stuff is in it, but you will be e able to finish this easily because. It doesn't feel heavy when you eat into it. Yeah. All right, let's go for another bite. Let's go. Mm. Mm -mm. The only hard thing about eating this is it is so stacked that opening my mouth to get that one bite was the only challenge. But to finish this would be super easy. Holy cow. All right, guys, this place is definitely worth all the hype that they've been getting for the past three weeks. Oh, and they've only been serving these sandwiches for the past three weeks. So it's recent, but man, oh man, there's been so many people that were walking through the doors today, ever since we got here. So make sure you guys come here and give this a try quick because it's only gonna get more busy, more packed. It took us about almost 20 to 30 minutes to get our sandwich, but it was worth every single second to wait to get these to try it. My goodness, oh, amazing. Amazing. 
If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give us a like, leave us a comment on where we should go next, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next episode of The Foodie TV. Peace. Peace.